All right, typically I would do this on my uh, like main regional account, but like my 35 definitely suits this better because I have a level 65 destroyer. So I can show you everything. Now I'm gonna go over the uh, enhancements first. So this is your engines. This is your stars. So you destroy your engines, you use them on your different abilities like this. Each star, I believe, is a 10% increase to your uh, base stat of that ability. What you're going to uh, want to do is focus on your merch cap and get that at least four or five star. Distance versus infantry. This is the big one. Your distance is what is going to cut through enemy infantry. Your tanks are going to help with that too. With the new heroes that are out, they focus on a crit march to boost your tanks and have your tanks as the primary damage dealers. Now, if you are somebody that likes to backhand the shit out of people, this right here, Battlefield Treatment, is fucking important as hell, bro. Keeping this all as high level as you can is important, especially your distance damage. Like this shit, that's the most important. Your distance is what does the most damage out of all of your troops. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, I'm tired. That's cute. Woman, you were told stop texting. Anyways, better for the treatment. Say I hit you and I lose my march, I get 64.91% of that back. There's also this which gives me another 30%. So I can have like a, I can get my like entire march back pretty much. So yeah, there's that. You have no idea how tempted I am to just buy this whole pass, bro. Just give these guys some butt touches. It's like, I got the medals. <laughs> I got the fucking medals. To have the gear, man, I fuck this region in the ass. Oh my god, these guys are trash. Legit. Like, hold up one sec, I'll show you. This shit. Exodus, the big spending German idiot. <laughs> the fuck is this? Okay, they t like debuffed a German. <laughs> That's funny. They got me debuffed. She calls me a papi. Anyways, the reason I jump cut it is because uh, I ain't about to have my uh, cords of my shit blasted all over the place. Anyways, when it comes to your parts, as you start out, to start getting your bomber parts. Do your guns first, all right? Now, you can't tell on this one, but once all of your abilities are level 20, you will inherit all three of these buffs of these weapons and shit. And when you hit level 45, you unlock all these spaces. Now, how my abilities are laid out is how you're supposed to do this. Um, it doesn't matter what's on the left, but you need all your attacking ones that I have here. Like your uh, vehicles versus distance and infantry, your distance versus infantry and tanks, and your uh, infantry defense versus vehicles and distance. You need those. And you gotta have your march cap 
and your battlefield treatment on the right hand side it does not matter what slot they're in now with the defense this one is eh. you need your merge cap these niggas need to fuck off dude just piss off you idiots you were told anyways you don't need battlefield treatment Okay, one second. I'm muting these clowns. Anyways. <sighs> I want to smack the shit out of them. That about covers, like, the bomber. The main thing is that once it hits, I think it's level 24 or 25, you start getting that bottom buff right here. The, uh... Distance versus infantry damage, plus 62. All these abilities start giving you buffs. A secondary one. Which is what's important. The only one that does not give you a buff is your march cap. <sighs> one thing that most people don't realize is... Send an attack at somebody, then switch your March of Fury out, and where is it? Put this on when you level it up, because you'll get a bunch of attack. Uh, I wonder if I actually got enough to do it to the point that it'll show. Oh my god, bitches, fuck off. <laughs> there it is. At 22 is when they give you the buff. So, as useless as attacking batteries is, they are present in people's bases, so I guess it's useful. But, definitely the distance health, you need it. Every stat that you can get is an advantage. On a, for gathering, it's basic, like, all you really need is to focus on this, which gathers all resources, your alloy, your iron, and your troop load. Those are the big ones. For threat, you can star them if you want. <laughs> I'd wait till you maxed everything else before you focus on threat. The only thing that matters with threat is your threat speed to hit it like this. Ghetto. Anyways, another Timbit that you could use is your Super Soldier. All right, this is very important, and this is something not many people pay attention to. Your top three stats are your army. All right, they are your lifeline. The higher those are, the better. The easiest way to get your stats up is through Super Soldier. Completing all sections will give you 30 down the board each time. Something else that you may not notice is when you go to Super Soldier in your skills and you look down the explosive tree, which is the one you're supposed to go down, you've got troop damage. This is an actual stat, okay? That is your army damage. That is extremely important. You may think that 2.5% don't make no fucking difference. Oh yeah, it does. And as you go down here, there's the rest of it right there. You get 5%. And if you're a cashed out cow, I'm pretty sure, yeah, right here. You've got buffs in here. I think they're in the trooper tree as well to get some extra health I think there might not be there might be yeah increase the health yeah so if you're a cash cow then you could like get all the buffs yeah but this is the important one that you want to focus on like this is your army damage and another quick thing is, with your train, 
do this every day and try and beat a stage because this is your speed ups. This is literally your lifeline. This is also how you get all of your hero XP. Bang. I think mine are all pretty much maxed. Yeah, they're all fucking maxed. All the ones that matter anyways. Oh guys, shit. Oh. This is pro tip. Alright. If you star all the green heroes, all the blue, and all the purple, alright? When you fucking go to spin this for your bugles, and you spin like the times 10 for this, case in point, case in point right there, you are less likely to get the bullshit heroes. Once you max a hero, it does not pop up in your roster again. So you're guaranteed to start getting frags for the heroes you want. Another thing with this is uh, I'll redo this. When you kill your first guy, this is easy, alright? That's nothing. It'll give you the option to spend your points on this, right? You don't do that. You see how much you do this, you look at your health in the top left. I'm god in this and can clear this with taking like no damage at all. <laughs> like, fuck. But you clear this as high as you can go, alright? Once you get up to about four or, f four or five, you'll see that this is like 20%. You look at these bottom ones, because these are your like big stats. Like the ones that really matter. So you could basically buy what? Say infantry health. At this point, you'd have had you'd have lost troops. So you're gonna want to buy to restore your march cap once you hit about 80%. You'd go up, clap them again. You got infantry health, so now you need to go down and get distance attack. Clap this man's cheeks, assuming you're still at decent health. Get distance damage received, negative 12%. Kill the next asshole. Go down. Go to infantry... Uh, damage received, negative 14%. This will increase your survivability as you go through it. You see what I'm saying? As you go up, these perks get better and better. So you got to learn to pick and choose what ones you want to get. Ideally, you wait longer to get those, but when you're at a low level and you're not that strong and you've only got like 800 stats or something, you need that extra buff for those big ones. Regardless... I'm not very good at Tesla. That is just what I do right there. It's basic. There's more in-depth vids, but, you know, it's Tesla. All you really need to do is get to floor nine. That's all you really need to do. Because, like, the second you get to floor nine, you unlock everything that you need from here. You'll have access to desert. You'll have access to your metals and shit like that. Like, I obviously don't need them. Because, like, I've got all Gorilla Metals and Tiger on this account. But, still. It is definitely, like, a must. <laughs> I didn't want this video to be very long, but it is. Um, I'm probably going to rewatch it. Make sure I did it proper. Because, you know... I'm not the most focused individual in the world. I have like the attention span of a fucking fly when it comes to like making a video, bro. So like, <laughs> it's it's not a fun time for me most times. But as I said before, these would help y'all. How to do your destroyer. You basically just focus on your distance damage. Keep your shit leveled. Basic shit. I showed you the abilities. 
on what ones to equip when you're assigning your abilities. There's really not much to the destroyer. To the train, it's literally, you just fucking press this, do this, clap its cheeks if you can. It's all about the individual challenges. War Heroes is a pain in the ass, but it's worth it. Because you get bugles for rewards. So. Yeah, that's about it, honestly. <laughs> this is one big ass, like, three way fuck fest of a guide. For Super Soldier, this will take you ages. But once you hit, like, stage five, I think it's this stage that you, uh. Ah, no, it's this one. This is when you unlock your purple. So this is like, you'll probably get stuck here and won't be able to beat the final boss, but you just farm the uh, two that are in the middle. Get all, all your gear, start enhancing it, it'll carry you up to about here, and this is when you start getting your level 35 gear. When you get to the end, is when you get the really good shit. Oh. Yeah, um, I kind of forgot. Yeah, this shit, yeah, perfect for res. Get that done. <laughs> and if you're a sweat, getting these titles and activating them um, gives you that little bit extra, a little bit extra of uh, advantage in a fight. So, yeah. For Hero Expo... There's really nothing I can tell you. Just these heroes were the best, but if you want my uh, suggestion, let's see, Specter Smith and uh, the Arabian dude, the Steel Schmitzmar, whatever the fuck his name is, um, they both have extra ammo. And this ability can be used one time per 30 rounds and increases your team's attack by 132% to 140%. That stacks. So when you're clapping a boss's cheeks, ooh, baby, you will hit them like a shit of kiss. I haven't tried it in this region. But I tried it in my other one, and, like, I clapped the boss, like, hard as shit. Like, I took him for half his health in one hit at stage 50, and my heroes are only, like, level 20, like, four-starred. Like, yeah. They're also... Oh, yeah. I, I just keep remembering shit as I'm going. Yeah, this right here. This stuff. Yeah. Very important. If you come to this and you look at the gear underneath, this is extremely important. This gives you a lot of stacked buffs. All this stuff down here, yeah, it may not look like much, but that shit adds up. Um, you've also got this. Don't ask me how to get these damn frags. I don't even know. I just got them out of crates. And cashed my nipples off for it. Like. Cancer. Definitely worth it though. Like. Good buffs. Good buffs. There's also your statues as well. Anyways. That's going to be all for this video. This was way too long. I wanted to do like a 5 minute video. This took me about 20 minutes. And I scattered about the last fucking 5 minutes of it. Because I'm tired as shit. But, yeah. I do hope it was helpful. Like, I will probably redo this. More than likely because it was just disorganized as shit. Let's be honest. If it did help you though, like, sub. Leave a comment and ask for help. Like, I might just post this and then redo it in individual sections. 
so that I don't go scatterbrained again. <laughs> and it was a good one, yo.